Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder, marketing master Jim Ackerman here, and this is your 30-second marketer tip of the day. Hey, are you still in New Year's resolution mode? I hope you are, and if you are, could I suggest a resolution for you? How about stop the stupid? Stay with me, I'll be right back to explain. All right, what do I mean by stop the stupid? Well, look, if you have found that your business has kind of hit a glass ceiling, you know, you've gone as about as far as you can go from year to year, your sales may fluctuate up or down a little bit, but never seem to get where you think they should be or where you'd like them to be, odds are it's because you've been doing some stupid stuff. The first of the stupids is the idea that if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And that's really a true statement. You keep doing the same old stuff and expecting different results. They call that the definition of insanity. But the truth is it's worse than that because if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got except you'll get less of it. In other words, because the world around us is changing, if you don't change with it, you're going to get actually diminished returns for your efforts. So recognize that you've got to change. Number two is failing to focus your attention as the owner of your business on the functions of your, of your ownership that have the greatest leverage for moving your business forward. Uh, the great industrialist Peter Drucker said, and I'm paraphrasing here, there are two and only two legitimate functions of business, marketing and innovation, the rest is expense. If you own the business, your first and foremost responsibility is to get people through the door, either physically or digitally, and that is your first and foremost responsibility. Anything you focus on outside of that will limit your ability to focus on that. Your second uh, responsibility is innovation, and the idea of innovation is to give prospective customers a greater reason to walk through your door, again, either physically or virtually. So make sure you're focusing on those things that have the greatest leverage as an owner. Number three, the belief that there's nothing you can really do about it. You've been around for a long time, you've tried this, you've tried that, you've uh, followed the pundits, uh, everybody says uh, digital marketing, you've thrown a bunch of digital marketing dollars at it, nothing seems to change. Uh, radio's the answer, you throw money at that, nothing seems to change. Direct mail is the answer. All these things, nothing seems to change. And the feeling is, doesn't matter what I do. I can only go and uh, get whatever the economy dishes out to me. If that's your feeling, I feel bad for you because you don't have any sense of control over your own business destiny. There are probably things that you're doing within the media efforts that you make or the selling efforts that you make or your relationships with uh, employees or whatever it happens to be that are self-limiting and it may not be the what you do's, it may be the how you do it's that's causing the limitations. Do not believe that you are limited simply by fate. You can take control of your business destiny. Number four, trying to do it all on your own. Now this is kind of related to number two, right? In other words, wearing too many hats. If you are the chief salesperson, the chief designer, the chief buyer, the chief marketing officer, you're also ca taking care of the books and the operations and the buying and everything that needs to be done in your enterprise, whew, uh, that's why you feel like the business owns you instead of you owning the business. Once again, if you will focus on the high leverage activities, uh, you'll find that you'll have greater success. And then the final stupid that many of us fall into, and, and by the way, I'm as subject to this as the next guy, is failure to sharpen the saw. The late, great Stephen R. Covey, in his uh, classic book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, named sharpen the saw as perhaps the key to success. Once again, if you're dealing with a certain set of knowledge, skills, systems, and habits, you're going to be limited by what those things can bring in. But the world is changing. There are other opportunities available. The way you use what you've used in the past has changed. And if you don't stay up with those things, you have artificially limited yourself. 
it's vitally important that you sharpen the saw if you want to be able to continue to take your business to the next level. And that's what we want to do, help you take your business to the next level in our continuing quest to help you get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. So, leave your comments below and get ready for our next episode.